everyone so today I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial on my hair and um, it's just it's gonna be this hair and these are just my loose waves I've been wearing these a lot lately if you're new to my channel then you probably don't know this but I've naturally really really curly hair style it so that it is kind of like its natural curliness way and so when I do this it's a lot looser which makes it also appear longer than it does when I do it my normal kinkier kind of curls and I really really like this I've been wearing it so much lately so I thought I would share with you guys how I do this so I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you do then please give it a thumbs up so I already washed my hair I took a shower I just brushed my hair completely out with a brush so I got all the tangles out and everything so it's completely tangle free and then all I did was take some Moroccan oil and just kind of apply it to the ends and then I let my hair air dry while I did my makeup and got dressed and picked up my room a little bit so my hair is completely air dried um, the only product in it is the Moroccan oil, so I'm just ready to curl, and I'm using the Conair, is it Conair or Conair, or something different, and it's the one, their one and a half inch curling iron. To start off with the curling, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to part, or I'm going to take my hair, and I'm just going to take about this much and clip it up. So that's kind of just like the upper third of my hair. I just want to say before I start that the only thing I don't like about this curling iron is that it has an extremely short cord. So to film this video, I had to put an, I had to find an extension cord to use because it has such a short cord. I do like this curling iron. It does curl good. To start out with the curling, I'm just going to take my hair and divide it in half. And just put half on the side and half on the side. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really matter. And then the half that I'm going to start out with, I'm going to put behind me. And the pieces that I, I'm going to curl first, I'm just going to put towards the front. And I'm just going to curl them. And then I'll grab more piece from the back and do that. That way I know that I got every single piece. And to curl the hair, I'm just going to take a, a piece about this big or so. It doesn't really matter. You can take small. You can do smaller pieces, bigger pieces. But since it's like looser, more casual waves, that um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Although I am going to curl all the pieces the same like direction. One direction. They can be like different sizes of sections that you curl. Like you can do a bigger piece and then curl smaller pieces. It doesn't really matter. But to start off, the general size of each curl is going to be about this much hair. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to curl it away from my face. And I'm just going to wrap, oops, I'm just going to wrap the hair around the curling iron like this. And I'm going to hold it as close as I can to my roots without burning my ear or my head. And then I'm just going to hold it there until I think it's done just for about 10 seconds or so. And I'm just going to kind of let it cool in my hand, which this does kind of burn your hand. But I've burned my hand so many times with curling irons and stuff that my hands are very, very tough. But if you don't have tough hands, I suggest using a glove or just lightly doing the very ends or whatever. But that's just going to make it cool off in your hand in that same like form of the curl that you curled it in which I think a lot of people know this trick but if you haven't heard this before that's what it does it just helps hold a curl which I don't have a problem holding a curl with my hair because my hair is so naturally curly but I just like I think it just cools off better and it just the curl just I don't know I just like the way it makes the curl look I think it makes it look just a little bit bouncier which I like this is a clamp curling iron so it does have a clamp on it However, I'm just going to curl it as if it didn't have a clamp, like a wand. So I'm just going to do that with the rest of my hair around my whole head. And I'm just going to do that in fast motion while you guys can listen to some nice music that I put on. So I'll talk to you guys at the end of the tutorial.
together summer or night Wanna roll back like press and rewind You are mine and we never said goodbye <laughs> Is majority of my hair done and it looks like this and it's kind of loosened a little bit as I sang along to some One Direction that I just I could not help myself and then some more One Direction and some more One Direction and okay that piece needed to be fixed and for some weird reason I honestly don't know why whenever I do this side oh that could have been bad um I when I curl them I always let them cool off my hand and I don't as much on the side I kind of realized that as I was filming this honestly I can't tell you why I do that because I don't know but um yeah, so this is what it looks like, and it looks a little wavier than it'll look when, once I get the top layer done. It'll look a little bit looser. Now I'm just going to take this out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clip that I clipped all of this in with, and I'm just going to kind of clip all of this hair right here as if it was a ponytail with this, just so I don't mix it in, because like I said, I like to make sure I curl every, I get every single piece curled. And I can just ensure that every piece is done and I'm not recurling stuff. I'm just going to, oh, this is very attractive. I don't know. Okay. And I'm just going to divide my hair in half with a comb. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, and you can always perfect this little part later. So right now it's looking really fuzzy and scary and ratchet and you're like oh my gosh but that's just my hair. Yours probably won't look like that unless you've naturally curl hair and it will probably look like this. Okay so now I'm just going to kind of basically do what I was just doing with this bottom layer and then when I get to to the front pieces like right here um most people there there are so many different kinds of I know you probably can't take my seriously with this craziness but anyways there are Many people have like different, all kinds of different methods to curl your front hair, but I found, I used all of them, well not all of them, but a lot of them, and I found that the best way is just to do it like you would normally do it with the rest of your hair, so you can just kind of watch me and see that, so I'm going to go put the music on loud again while I jam out and finish curling my hair. <laughs> some pieces like oh, I hiccuped um like this one that's just kind of I don't know not quite how I like it to be so now everything's basically the way I like it to look for the most part and oh it just blows that part it is not in the middle now is it okay 
So now I just touched up my part. So I'm going to fix this piece so it's curled away from my face on this side. Curl with this piece. So I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm just going to hairspray it with some big and sexy hairspray. Okay, so that's the final look, and this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any more requests for me, then just comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Yes, I would not. Yes, I would. Any day. Any day. Any month. Any year. Even if you're 80 or 90 years old. Yes, I will take you up on that offer, buddy. He's talking about burns, and I keep burning my hand. Ah, oh, that hurt. Religion wise? Oh, thank you.